Where's your mom? At home. And you're doing this outside. Is your house far from here? Huh? Yeah, come, come and take me to your house. I need to see your mother. Because you can't be selling your daughter outside when all that children are going to school. Wow. Is this where you stay? Yes. This is where I live. My God. But you're too, you're too young and also having a child. Why? And she's not in school. There's no money to take her to school. Why? What what happened? It's a long story. My name is Bella. And when I was 12 years old, my mother died. And ever since then, my life has become very miserable. My father started giving me out as house help to people, even at that age. The worst part was that my father collects money from people that he sold me out to. In fact, I was being sold. I stayed within the first person. I went to serve for some months when her husband tried to rape me. So he didn't succeed. I was accused by the wife of taking her husband away from her and I was chased out of the street. All alone, no father, no mother, no brother, no sister. I was just alone in my own world. When I was in the street, frustrated, I saw a woman in a car. She took me out. She took me as her own child. I was in heaven already. For the time, the story changed. I was badly treated by her and her husband. They treated me like a piece of rag. I had to run out of the house again. <laughs> and then I met a guy. His name was Patrick. He promised me love. Even when I told him I was 14 years. He took me, he sheltered me. He was so loving and caring to me. I gave him my body. I, he gave me my pride, even at that age. As a woman. But later I got pregnant and he left me. <laughs> I went to his friends to know about his whereabouts, but they don't know where he was. That was when the second part of my suffering started. I had to carry my child for nine months. Nine good months in my stomach without anybody to help me. I gave it to her. There was no money, not even a dime. I registered her in school with a few. Money I saved for the time. She dropped out the same way I did. <laughs> it was a word I couldn't end in our lives. Hi, my name is Chike Ziogazichi. Did you see that movie? Does it look familiar to you? Have you seen something similar in your neighborhood? Every single day in Nigeria, we see children involved in all kinds of child labor. We see all forms of abuses on children. A lot of these children go through things that make it difficult for them achieve, to achieve anything in life. But does it have to be that way? 
does it have to remain this way? Must we wait for the government to do something about it if they have refused to do anything about it? The narrative can change. We can do something about it. Yes, we. I mean we, yes, you and I. We can do something about it. Every child deserves attention. Every child deserves the best. Let's do it.